According to Pastor Jim, the second way we can abuse grace is by withholding it, which is when we refuse to extend to others what has already been freely given to us. Admittedly, this is something I am guilty of a lot. I think the reason behind that is that I'm suddenly convinced that I'm the one deserving of grace and the other person isn't. Ironically, once I become deserving of it, it no longer becomes grace at all. The thing is, if anyone has the right to withhold grace, it's God, not us. We hurt him far more often than anyone could ever hurt us. And yet, his grace is ever flowing towards us. So, if he refuses to withhold his grace from us, how much do you think it grieves him when we withhold that grace from others? I know that forgiving others is difficult, especially when we've been hurt badly. But the nice thing about God is that he doesn't expect us to do it alone. By experiencing the love and forgiveness of God, we can begin to recognize our need for his grace and then we can better empathize with that need in others. There's a verse in 1 John that says, we love because he first loved us. I think from that verse, we can also say, we forgive because he has first forgiven us. We give grace because he has first given grace to us. Only when we are sustained by grace can we truly and openly extend it to other people.